Hello everyone and welcome back. This is my 1 to 100 scale E126 wind turbine. And now I have this all new 1 to 100 E112. So for those who don't know, the E112 was the first large scale turbine that Enercon uh, offered. Other than that, the E66 1.8 megawatt was the largest they had provided at the time, so it was quite a large step from a 66 to a 112 meter rotor, and from 1.8 to 4.5 megawatts output. And the 112 is a turbine that would eventually evolve to become the 126. And both turbines are um, share a number of um, characteristics. So they are quite obviously derived from each other. And because of that, parts from one are able to be, you know, substituted on each other. In fact, there is one Enercon E112 out there that has been mounted on a 126 tower. The original 112 towers were about 124 meter hub height, but there is one that has 135 meter hub height like the 126, and that's really pretty cool. So other than the tower, the main difference is of course the blade shape and size. The E112 has a 112.8 or a 114 meter rotor, depending on when it was made. And the blade shape is the more traditional um, Ener um, blade shape for a wind turbine that Enercon used to use back in the 90s. The E66, E58, E40 are a couple of turbines that use this blade shape. And then a little bit later on, Enercon adopted the more um, standard blade shape for their turbines, as seen on the 126. But since then, Enercon has um, re reverted back to their original blade shape uh, just to cut down costs. Although this blade shape isn't quite as efficient as the um, um, this this blade shape, this one has a little bit more surface area than this one. So the order of the turbines was the original 112, which had a 112.8 meter rotor and 4.5 megawatts output. It was later given a 114 meter rotor and six megawatts output. Then they made some revisions and made a 126 with a six megawatt output. And then finally, the 126 with a seven and a half megawatt output. So the generators on both of these turbines, the six megawatt um, models are basically interchangeable. The nacelle um, details are very similar and I'm sure the blades are about the same. So that's really it about the turbines. Now let's go ahead and take a closer look at my model. All right, so getting up close to the model here, something you'll uh, notice as I um, did do a different color on the blades for this. The stripes are a little bit different than the 126, um, but I'll get to that in just a moment. Start at the base here. Here is the green bottom of the tower, just like the 126. And this one has the little door with the overhang and the little part where the foundation sticks out. And then I also have little stairs that go up here, and then on the opposite side, there's a, another door. Now, the rest of the tower here is white. Right here, this piece is what would be painted red if, the t if it had a tower stripe, but mine does not have the tower stripe. My turbine, uh, the color scheme is based off of the one in Eggon, which was the first prototype installed, and it does not have the tower stripe. Now coming up here to the nacelle, you can see the traditional um, egg shape of the nacelle. All right, on the back it does have a little fan model here for the, um, I guess for the exhaust. It's got a little door here with the um, platform here where the lights would be. If I want, I can take this off. Here's the inside. And 
and then the blades on the hub here, just like the 126. Um, has the actual hub on the inside. And then the blade shape on this was kind of tricky to figure out. Um, this blade shape is different than I did for my V162. This is a more accurate blade shape. Um, it's got this flat part on the back here, which um, I hadn't figured out how to model until I started working on this turbine. So on the 126, I just use regular red spray paint to make the stripes. And here, I have kind of an orangey color. Um, just looks a lot nicer on this, more accurate to the turbine type. Um, kind of a reddish orange color. There it goes. Now, of course, the blades are able to be pitched, so we'll go ahead and do that. I'll get right back. Here's what the turbine looks like when the blades are pitched out of the wind. They have quite a wide profile to them. These blades are very short and stubby. I just really like the proportions of the, tur the, the E112 because it has some really goofy proportions. The E126 already had goofy proportions, but this one just takes it to the next level. There, you can just see how funny that looks with that relatively small blade. And the hub is absolutely ginormous. So that's the E112. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.